Well, hello there. I'll be chasing Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amanzi Ogbonna here with another video. Today I'll be talking about how I moved away from macOS for development in Docker. So we switched from our native app development as in developing directly from our machines into containerizing our application so that it will be easier for people DevOps, front-end, QA to pick up our project and just spin it up. I originally was working from a desktop, so I was running Manjaro on my main desktop that's down there, but I was having power issues. You know, if you've been following me, I live in Nigeria, Lagos to be uh, exact, and so far, Power has not been very good for me and thanks to my backup power, I've been doing well. But at this period of time, my backup power was also misbehaving. My batteries were down, but they were depleted and were not charging well. And so I had to move away from a desktop and investing in a laptop. So I got this laptop here. This is my 26, 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch. Uh, and it's been doing well i installed docker on it and i tried running my uh, i tried running docker on this uh, my machine and i faced a lot of hell so at the beginning when i installed docker i run some simple applications uh, spin up a simple node.js application it worked fine but after i imported our project file or rather our compose uh, I, uh, we normally use make to make build our system and it runs a docker compose for different environments so on running docker compose on this my laptop it's supposed to be the best as a 2019 stroke 2020 the laptop was running very very hot and loud so i became scared i was like this is not sustainable if you know physics a lot of moving parts or moving parts will eventually break down so i was more or less panicking that this is not sustainable and i cannot continue running my docker on this machine originally i thought it was specific to my machine maybe my machine was faulty then i went to the online threads and i noticed that many people were facing the same issue that i was and i tried all their hacks and none of them seemed to work. I increased my RAM. I did some hacks that helped my file system to recognize, or rather to, uh, for Mac OS to be faster with uh, the file system in the Docker. Still nothing was working. The system was running at max just to run my application and to make matters worse whenever I run our tests. I'm, I'm like praying my system doesn't blow up or something. Eventually, I came to the conclusion that if you are running Docker on macOS and you are running a simple application, it will not be a problem for you. So if you are spinning up a simple application, a node server or a simple Python application, something like that, you are fine, not too complex. But if you are running a system like ours, we are running two node servers, Postgres and uh, Redis then an Nginx server which more or less handles the proxies that more or less made the system cry I don't know why but it was crying if you have any experience with running almost equal amount of um, tools please leave that down in the comments and maybe I'm missing something and I don't know but either ways if you are running something as complex as my company is and you are running tests our tests are very heavy uh, you may have issue running docker in mac os so eventually i gave up so my next step became not throwing out my macbook pro but still using my macbook pro so i installed virtualbox inside my mac os so inside VirtualBox, I also installed um, Ubuntu server. So Ubuntu server now became my Docker OS. So 
in ubuntu server now i am now installing docker so from there i run my docker and to actually work with the ubuntu server and not um, install application or a ui i had to ssh into my ubuntu server that is my guest host so my mac os is my uh, main host while my ubuntu server became my virtual host so i was running docker inside uh, ubuntu server and it ran well smoothly silent and wonderful i had it running for some months and i enjoyed it the only problem i had was whenever you run a test at at first it runs fine and if you run keep running that our tests like repeatedly repeatedly the speed degrades over time and it reaches a stage where i have to turn off my uh, either turn off my docker or turn off my ubuntu server one of the above or all of them all together before it picks up speed unfortunately it reached a point where i could no longer bear the recurring restart that i had to do so i had to move away because when when your team needs you to deliver on something and you have to always restart your virtual machine or even your whole system in some cases sometimes i even faced issue where my virtual machine operating system disk size failed i had to clone it and so many problems i got tired i was like i never faced any of this issue when i was on the desktop so eventually i went back to my trusty desktop so as at now i'm no longer having too much power issues uh power is stable my backup system is giving me enough power to work and i'm more or less enjoying uh the use of my desktop because i also invested in my desktop so it could not be there idle because uh originally i was supposed to use it for video editing gaming and also programming but because of i switched to my laptop i wasn't programming on it but right now i'm grateful i'm currently using it and it's working fine i installed ubuntu directly on my external hard disk and i'm booting into it so i installed docker inside ubuntu uh, i'm not using ubuntu server anymore i'm using the proper gnu desktop and it's working fine so it's more or less the same thing how do i connect to my desktop ubuntu i'm not using the desktop ui to code i'm still using my macbook to code on my ubuntu desktop so i'm um, sshing into my desktop from my laptop because i prefer to uh program through mac os and i've moved some of my resources here so i cannot go back and forth be between uh, desktop so we use slack in the office so i would always want my workflow to be on the same machine so i'm using visual studio to ssh into my machine i'm also using iterm to ssh into the machine also and have access to the ba bash or z shell so i use z shell and so far it's been working fine and everything has been golden it's also good to note though if you are going to try the same thing running your ubuntu your docker or your your ubuntu on your desktop and working from your laptop you should consider having a wi-fi in your house that you can give the machine a static ip uh, that is map the uh mac address of the desktop to a particular ip address so that you don't have to keep changing the ip address whenever you want to ssh into the machine or you don't have to go into the ubuntu server to check what is your ip before i can ssh into you so it's good to set all that in to be static and you will be fine so that's the end of this video if you like this video help this channel by leaving a like share it and subscribe to the channel to see more of my content and help my channel to grow and i hope to see you guys and girls next time bye bye thanks for watching you still here
leave a like subscribe